Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. Guys, today I create Cinema 4D tutorial for kids learning animation video. So firstly guys, I take spare and guys spare radius, I take only 4 cm and guys copy this spare, I go to edit, copy and paste and after that guys select both spares and one more time guys copy copy and paste right now i have four spare guys after that i take cloner so i go to more graph and use cloner select all four spares and make child with cloner yes and now guys i take big spare one more time i take spare this is my circle shape and guys change radius Radius I take like 70 centimeter and now guys hide this pair hide and hide on render right and guys I apply tags so select this this one hide spare and I apply collider body tag this one and I go to collision and guys only change shape this one and take static mesh yes and guys also change bounce and friction bounce i take zero and friction i take 50 percent that's it guys select this cloner and same i apply this time rigid body tag this one rigid body and same go on collision but guys this time inheritance tag apply tag to children and individual elements I take all and guys shape automatically is good and same change bounce and friction bounce take zero and friction I take 50% that's it and guys I increase frame like 500 500 and guys select cloner I create animation select cloner and object and guys change mode this one i take object this one right and this is my object guys click on this arrow key select and select this pair this guys this is my shape right see it's too easy guys and now guys change distribution this one distribution i take volume Guys, this is my volume count. So I create animation zero frame, go on zero frame and count zero and press this animation key. And now I go to 300 frames and count. I take like 4000 randomly and press enter and press this animation key. Yeah, that's it guys. So go on back and play. See guys, see guys, this is perfect shape animation, right? Guys, this is my circle. You can change any shape. I show you how to apply different shape so so stop go on back and guys this time i take like cone this one and change cone size little bit smaller i take scale tool make smaller that's it and guys select this tag and drag and drop in cloner that's it select this cloner and guys object same click on this arrow key and click now cone and guys hide cone and hide on renders right go on back and play yeah see guys now this time i create this cone shape yeah that's really good right guys you can change this count so select this count go on here count like this one like 250 and check yes
yeah that's really cool right guys and guys i show you more shapes so go on back and guys this time you can apply like this cylinder and change cylinder size select the scale tool make smaller that's it and guys select this tag apply on this cylinder and hide on cylinder and hide on render guys select this cloner and object select this arrow key click on cylinder that's it guys go on back and play yeah see guys now this is my cylinder shape yes that's really good and guys lastly i apply cube so select this time cube where is cube yeah here and change size like this and select this tag apply on cube select cone actually cloner select yes that's it and guys same hide i hide dot renders go on back and play see guys now this is my cube shape yeah that's really good right guys see okay see guys it's really good and now guys i create text animation so i take more graph actually take more text and type cube and alignment take middle guys change font i use some funny font cartoonist funny font mm, like this and make smaller yes go on back and little bit more smaller select this guys more text and i take plain this one and i go to parameter position uncheck select only scale tool and ununiform scale check and guys scale size minus 1 guys i go to fall off and shape i take liner here is liner here and change orientation yes this one guys i go to like 310 frame 310 go on here and press this animation key and now i go to like actually 360 360 frame go on here yes and press this animation key right i show you go on back and play yeah that's nice but guys this is not looking so good i apply delay so select this more text more graph and use delay and go on effector mode i take spring and spring strength is 70% go on back and again play yes guys now this is looking like spring effect right so stop now guys i apply my cinema 4d studio light and material go on create and load material guys you can download cinema 4d light and material from my website and apply random material like this and red material on more text that's it and guys you can use c4d studio light and flow and background down and guys also apply collider body tag on flow so select this flow and select this this one 
collider body that's it go on back and guys this is my final animation and play yeah see guys this is my cube shape and now you can change cone i show you i apply cone go on cone select this cloner click and click on cone shape that's it go on back and play yeah right see guys now this is my cone shape right guys i go to render setting so stop i take full render setting this one and frame range use all mb occlusion and global illumination that's it guys this is my save file path format you can take mp4 avi but i always take jpeg sequences that's it guys so close and render right so guys this my final animation is finished if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel and guys download project file from my website thank you